Well, this will be interesting. We have a new update in Planet Crafter. There's a bunch of new butterflies, all sorts of fun things. And my personal favorite, check this out, the Auto Crafter automatically crafts a chosen recipe if the ingredients are found in a certain range. That means we can automatically make the most expensive things in this entire game. I'm wondering how big this certain range is too because I have an absolute buttload of materials in these storage chests. And I'm also wondering if I grab one of these blueprints. If we shove it into here, do we get anything cool? Decode it. Ooh, microchip construction menu filter. That sounds fun. How about another one? Let's shove you into the hole. Oh, no more blueprints. Okay, that's fine. Also, there's something else cool. Check out this. The breathable atmosphere. We've terraformed the planet so much that now we have infinite oxygen. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm also wondering up here. Like, is there a new rocket type? Let's check it out. Okay, GPS satellite, satellite. Ooh, insect spreader rocket. Osmium rod, tier two mutagen, and bee larva. <gasps> we can spread bees across the universe. That's so cool. I also am kind of getting thirsty, so let's grab these, then we'll take that and shove it right into our mouth hole awkwardly because that's what happens. Why are you here? You're just a common larva. I don't want you anymore. I'm just gonna, I don't even know what to do with you. Put you outside. Stop crawling on my building. Also, let's uh, harvest some eggplants. I have a feeling we're gonna need eggplants later for some scientific purpose. Oh, and my inventory's full of eggplants. So I'll just shove those incoherently into this chest and entirely forget about them for the next couple months. And hello, beautiful butterflies. Hmm, this space looks like a perfect one to make those auto crafters. Ooh, new blueprint received. Tier five drill? That's gotta be huge. All right, let's try. Is that it? Right oh my word. Super alloy rod, osmium rod, and another super alloy rod. That's expensive. Okay, so what do we need to build that computer chip? Super alloy, magnesium, silicone. Hello, time to make my chip. Thank you. And then we take that, we slide it over here. And now if I open up the menu, only the high tier stuff is here. That's kind of cool. And if I need a lower tier, I can always drop it down. So that's awesome. Trying to see what else there is. I don't know. Maybe you should check in this menu. All right. It looks like everything in here has been unlocked. Okay. The osmium rod looks kind of cool. It's just straight up nine osmium, which we have plenty of. And then I'll shove it deep into here and make ourselves two of them. I only needed two, right? Or am I doing this backwards? I needed one. Oops. And I don't think I have enough super alloy. So I'll jump into the trusty rusty teleporter to go to the super alloy mines. And now we will grab things to our heart's content. And the things we don't want will destroy. Don't get on my bad side. Okay, now that I crafted up two of those rods and one here. And then I forgot where I put the blue shiny one inside of this one. I should be able to build one of the automatic crafting things now. Let us automate this. Auto crafter. That's not what I was gonna build, but I will anyway, because it sounds even more fun. Ooh, okay, okay. So the range isn't as far as I was hoping for, but that still looks super sick. Open the auto crafter. Okay, select a recipe to automatically craft. Be automatically crafted, okay. Oh, okay, Uh, super alloy. What happens if I do that? Ooh, no way. And then where does it go? It goes down in here. Oh, that's so sick. I love it. Now I just need to make more of these and automate everything in the world. I don't even know why I'm automating that. It just sounded like a fun idea. Stop it. You're wasting all my materials. Okay, let's see what happens if it gets full. So it's full of super alloy. And if I take it, then it'll start counting down again. Also, that popped up. I don't know what that is, but I have to go look at it. <laughs> I'm like a cat. I got to go see the shiny thing. I'm going to fly over there and I don't have to worry about losing air. Ooh, that kind of rhymed. Where's the water? I'm gonna take some water with me because I'll probably die of lack of water poisoning. Is it underwater? Is it overwater? Is it a figment pigment? Is it a thing of my imagination? Wait, I can breathe infinitely underwater. I'm a fish. Okay, so I just clamber into this brick wall and I have to fly around it, I guess. Probably should have brought some food now that I don't need oxygen. Oh, magic mystery thing of mystery and magic, what are you? Oh, why do you have to be so far away? Looks like it's deep underground. Is this just like a, a glitch in the matrix? Is Neo gonna show up like holding a red pill and a blue pill for me? Please be food. Oh wow, that's actually some good stuff. And I know Neo isn't the one that holds the red pill and blue pill, but he could be, because he's in the matrix now or out of, I don't I don't know. It, it's just you know that? Uh, that whole lore thing's kinda just strange now. But I found some more treasure, so I'm gonna steal that and then deconstruct this. 
Hey, I thought it was X button. Can I not deconstruct things anymore? You know what? I don't really care about that. There it is. How do I get way down under the earth? Probably down into the creepy mushroom river biome? Possibly. It's looking good. Please don't be any scary creatures in here yet. We haven't evolved those yet. Oh, another box. Please give me something cool. Never mind. There's nothing there. I'm thinking to deconstruct that because I want to figure it out next time. Okay, we are getting close to this. It's the giant tree? Hello there, General Kenobi. What is this? What is this thing? Okay. The the warden's altar? Hold up. Negative 464, negative 4097. Those coordinates? Warden's key. Okay. Uh, what? Now I have to figure out coordinates. Also, what's this? There's just a... Oh, Carmen Larva. There's just creatures crawling under here. Ooh. Hello. What do I do with that, though? I, I, I gotta go to that coordinate. How do I figure it out? Oh, hey. I see coordinates on my screen in the bottom left. Okay. All right, let's get ourselves out of the cave into the world again, and I'll try to figure out where we are. Can't open up the map in here, so that's kind of annoying. I need to go to negative 464, which is super far this way. Okay, scratch that. That's not super far. Okay, and then, like, left? We have, One of these has to be, like, the Z. Okay, the middle one is the up and down, and then I have to go all the way to the edge of the map this way. And we can find our teleporter that we placed here before. I mean, if I just deconstruct that, it means I can go with it, right? Yeah, everything fits my inventory just fine. I think I might have found something. There's shiny things in here. I can't get to it. But somewhere under this rock structure, there's got to be a cave. And it might be totally the mushroom biome again. Maybe. If I can go to the left. Which would kind of make sense, because this is where the remnants of people are. What is this? Oh, is this literally it? It's literally it. Okay. Can I just stand on it? And jump on it? Push the button. Open sesame. Do I just... Do I drop it on here? I'm not sure, but there's a shiny butterfly that I need <laughs> for uh, science. Oh, hey. It's probably because I had the wrong tool out. Give me that. Hey, there it is. Open the altar. Put the shiny warden's key. Oh, this is bad. Maybe good. I mean, I feel like I'm in like the, uh, what's that guy? Indiana Jones. I was going to call him Han Solo, but the, oh my word. Is this some sort of back rooms thing now? Okay. Where are, oh, the doors are open. Did I find treasure? <gasps> read message. I can't read. After all these years of suffering, we decided to leave our home soil and go build a new home far from this terror, far from strife, far from them. Uh, okay. It's just endless tunnels. Oh, no, it's not. What is this place? What did I find? I can't make it over there. This must have been the wrong and That's like a giant spaceship underground. With uh, ectoplasm on the wall. That's cool. Are they going to be mad that I... Hey, ooh. Okay, we have another place. 964. That's on the other side of the world. Give me that. I'm an expert in stealing things. So I'm going to leave this place now. Thank you, game. And I'm going to go try to find the other one. Can I take this back? I need it. <laughs> nope. Oh, it's locked. That makes me sad in my heart. But the good news is I can build a teleporter and slap it down so I don't have to walk as much. Yay. Home we go. So I was over here and I found the two butterflies that I have. Also, I remember that if I take the two honey... I can create super high quality food with the beans, and then I can run anywhere with it in the entire world. Also, I should probably get some water out of here. Thank you, game. I know that I'm thirsty. And now I can go travel as far as I want to. Now, if I remember right, we have a lot of these drills, and they're not really doing too much. So if I go ahead and craft up the tier 5 drills, we should be able to do a lot more. It takes 385 energy. These take 8. <laughs> wow. We can get rid of all of these entirely. Oh yeah, we even have the small ones. I just didn't really want any of the, the stuff. So let's go start crafting these down. I need one of those. And since we auto crafted a bunch of super alloy, we'll take all of that. It's gonna start making a bunch more. Then we can craft that down into another super alloy rod. And then I'll grab this one and that one. And I guess we'll make a second. Why not, right? We should also double check if we have enough air. Oh. Yeah, we have available. Okay, cool. So those are the tier four drills, the tier three drills. Let's make a tier five drill. Oh, hot dang, is that thing big? Wow. 
I love it. I need one of those in real life. Just in my backyard. My neighbors would be like, why is he so weird? Thing is, I don't want it over here because it's too big. So I'll go put it in my neighbor's yard. Kidding, I don't have any neighbors because I'm living on a planet all alone, all by myself without any friends. This game needs multiplayer, by the way. And then we'll put another drill over here. Oh my goodness. These are incredible. They're also stupidly expensive, but I don't really care because my terraformation index is now 1.3 tr tri trillion. That's with two trillions in it. I also made that up. I also think we can make a heater. That's not too expensive. I mean, it's stupidly expensive, but it's not too expensive because we're already end game. Okay, we have two. Oh, we have three already. <laughs> and if I remember right, we have a ton of iridium rods because for science and junk. So we'll grab all of, oh, okay. Why is there a common larva somewhere? We must have ran out of inventory. That's okay, because I know where plenty other inventory is. Now hiding somewhere deep in this forest are my tier whatever these are. Tier three, tier four heaters. Let's put in a tier five heater. It's, oh my goodness. <laughs> We're gonna have to go put it outside of the forest. Yay for destroying the environment that we just created. Oh my word. That thing's huge. I love it. I don't know why I needed that because my terraformation index is so high. I'm not unlocking anything. So I'm thinking the next warding key might go deep into this cave, which is the super alloy cave. I didn't know why I didn't just teleport, but there was that doorway way at the end of this tunnel somewhere that we might be able to open now. There it is. All right, let's try it out. Warden's key inside, oh my. I've always wanted to open that door. Kind of excited again. Whee! Let's just fly into the unsuspecting depths with the obelisks and weird things. I also can't fly anymore, which is kind of disheartening. Okay. Um. Please stop vibrating game. And is that like moldy blocks? It is. Everything's shaking. We're back in another one of these tunnels. Do I go left or do I go right? Left has another key, right has nothing. Key time. I'm going to yoink you. Maybe this is a bad idea. Just stealing treasure. I mean, I see what happens when you like, when you slip the treasure off. Ooh, there could be bugs in here. And you replace it with like a bag of sand or something. Yeah, the bad things happen. Do I go down? I don't go down. Oh, what? An underground city? What the actual world, man? Okay, we have another warden's key. I mean, I don't feel like stealing them all off the altars, but <laughs> they're, it's free real estate. Okay, then we can come inside of here. I just want something super expensive. Please don't be like another like Lerma seed. Congratulations, drink your Ovaltine. Okay, this is where we go. Up the dilapidated wooden structure that's been here for a millennia and then fall down because you're incompetent at climbing, and then reach the top of this weird temple-like structure that was built underground, and then there's like, ooh, okay. We're going down again, this is weird. I don't think there's anything that way, so let's keep running this way. And by running, I mean carefully walking on a million-year-old wooden structure, even though we've, no, there's, there's something, I need that. We've never seen a tree or fossil remnant of one in this game. What is this? What is it? I found a giant shiny orb. Can I steal it? I'm gonna touch it. Oh, hydration level. I'm sorry. I just take a drink quick. Huh. That's kind of cool. I wonder if I have to turn it on. Okay, we're gonna go up to this thing too. This might be how we turn it on. Hmm. Oh, another read message. Orbital drainage defense devices. If ever the one thing calling themselves humans approach this planet, it will drain the energy of their ships and prevent them from communicating Interesting. Yeah, this will give us at least a few hundred years of quietude. We don't know what year that was. I wish I could steal that. Maybe that's why they don't like the humans. <laughs> We're just coming into their temple, stealing their shiny objects, and taking them for themselves. I have a feeling I have to drop down here now. <sighs> I don't like that idea, but I'm doing it anyway. Okay, so this was the building I entered first. Weird. But there was that secondary tunnel that we didn't go into here, right? Yeah, that's the one we went into. I think this is the extra one. Oh, okay. Maybe this is where we put the warden thingies. A few moments later. Or you know, there's the plight with YouTubers where we just run into things without reading. I got another code. Oh, fall damage. Forgot I don't have a jetpack. Thankfully, I can eat food and that heals me somehow. Might as well go ahead and, you know, take the rest of the super alloy that's here and teleport it back home. 
You know what we need now that we can auto craft things? We need a way to auto sort things. Because all of this garbage is just a mess. I have to run over here, then open up the magnesium and clickety click. Why is this area shaking too? Did I disrupt the planetary gods or something? What was that? Oh, silicone was our thing that we were missing. Interesting. Kind of wish I could tell where things were on the map. So we were way over here by the super alloy cave last time. And the first time we were way down here in the mushroom area. My guess is it's going to be way up here. Ooh, I need more water. And I can confirm that that is not the direction to go. I need to go to 1,565 and 2,500. And this looks like a place that I've never actually been before. Because I wouldn't leave things like zeolite laying around. Ooh, here's a treasure box. Ah, uh, fine, I'll take it. Oh, here we go. Just, uh, hanging out in nowhere's land. Oh, it takes three. Whoa, what? The entire rock face drops down? That's kind of cool. I still don't like the dust particles because it looks nothing like dust, but whatever. At least we opened up access to whatever's behind here. Maybe some sort of spaceship that gets us off this planet? I don't know, but we've had more of these. Why couldn't I have flown over the rocks? I have a jetpack and all. Hold on, there's trees in here. Is there gonna be a T-Rex? Like little velociraptors? Oh, my jetpack's gone again. Okay. This is cool. There are trees. Oh, and that thing just spawned. Oh, wow. An entirely amazing little oasis. This is kind of cool. Achievement called Lost Paradise. Oh, my. I'm got shivers right now. Chills on my arms. Got goosebumps. Or duck lumps or gas pimples, whatever you want to call them. I just also walked right through a wall that I shouldn't have been able to walk through. I don't want to trespass anywhere that I shouldn't be trespassing. Okay. What is this place, though? I mean, this is where the last society lived. There's a monolith. Everything looks sweet. I'm just gonna go right up in here and knock on the door. Hey friends, anyone home? Oh, they might not be. Oh, we need one of these to open the final door. Once we lived. Cool, same. <laughs> so there's a big structure up there. Ah, I got it. Yoink. <laughs> you steal that quick. Neat. Why did they build up a whole bunch of wooden supports to get up here? I'm also concerned. Okay, there's nothing there. Um, oh, okay. I don't know where else to go. Maybe over on this side? Oh, that's a cool tree. There's a wooden wheel that's spinning? Can I climb it? All right. Oh, and there's another one. It dibs. It dibs it. It's, it means it's yours. Interesting. I guess I climb down now. Huh. Unique design for a game. And do I jump off here? I feel like that's a death sentence. Totally was not a death sentence, but I found another warden stone? Weird. Not gonna lie, I was not expecting that. Okay, I'm not sure why there's three, but this one only took one. Oh, never mind, it takes five. Yikes. Well, hot dang. Okay, these other two must be in pretty easy to find spots, cause that one was like right on the entrance to the bridge. I'm guessing it's somewhere on the ground level here. Ah, and there's the fifth right over on this side. Nice. Now I guess we get to open up the door to see what happened back here. Also, that makes me hungry. It looks like rotisserie chicken. Okay, here we go. Open the altar. Yes. Yes. I didn't even know I wanted this, but I'm so excited that I have it. As long as the door is open, then I can walk through the weird... Oh, it's not opening yet. Would it be funny if, like, that was just a rotating loop and it never actually opened? I'd be mad. Ooh, there's ivies in here. It's a precious, a little bit overgrown. How did the ivies actually grow? I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I, wow. Oh, there's two golden chests. Oh, this place is awesome. I love it. Let's go ahead and read the last note. Once again, a calamity befalls our people. If the predictions are correct, the meteor will hit the planet just in a few days. The cities we built, the splendors we made fall, arts, traditions, discoveries, and lives will vanish. Once again, the destruction is upon us. Huh. Okay. What is the point of running away when demise chase you so vigorously? The fate is accepted, being proud. Okay, so they were going to build up spaceships to leave the planet, and they were doing that until the asteroid hit them and destroyed them. There's also golden butterflies in here. Can I uh, borrow them permanently? Oh, oh, okay. They're like, yes, please, you can borrow them permanently. The golden butterfly? 
What's in this one? Ooh, there's so much more treasure. Mmm, expensive stuff too. Okay, for real talk, I don't need the eggplant seeds. I have a buttload of those. I can also shove that in my mouth right now. Bacteria sample, that's not so irreplaceable. Same with that, like I've got that in mining. Oh, iron, there's iron. Okay, let's grab this stuff now. Mmm, okay. I'm a little bit terrified. Because, like, it's badness happening outside. This place is so cool, though. So I tell you what, my friends. I'm going to make it home. I think we should set up a fully automated, like, factory system in the game, too. Let me know if you'd like to see that in the comments down below. And, of course, keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all of my patrons and channel members for supporting the channel, including Autoday, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Hippias, Destructo Man, General Harris, Maxer, VC Engineer, Whip It Good, Eagle Arc, Spencer T, Zarnoff, Royal Deegan, Sarcasmorex, Baron Fox, Whiskey, Splatter Sacks, Joe B, Doug Rules 2.0, Fury Arrow, Nerdy Geek Skunk Chess, Corian, Rob the King, Brett, KDF, Dalton C, Helvora, Mr. M Gaming, Sikander, Kyle, Kieran, Grayson, Monkey, Zane, Mr. Cripple One, and Epic Bacon.